Captain Veer in Billy Budd is a, I suppose, a conflicted character. You've got the very clear and understandable poles in the other two main characters, Billy Budd himself and John Claggett, the master at arms. One represents good and the other represents evil. There's a terrible, violent act between the two of them and Captain Veer is uh, put in the position, the very difficult position of being uh, judge and executioner, really. The opera explores Veer's personal dilemma with that situation. Working with Michael Grandage has been a complete joy, I must say. I mean, not only because he's you know, got a fantastic um, and complete vision of, of the piece and what he wants to achieve with it and how he would like to present it, but also because he's a theatre director who's coming to opera for the first time with this production. And so it's been absolutely fascinating seeing his imagination being stimulated, and I've no idea whether he <laughs> he thinks it's been a you know a stressful thing to do, but from the point of view of someone in it, it's been it's been great, very very um, collaborative. My compliments to Mr. Redman and Mr. Fleet, and will they take a glass of wine? This will sound like a terrible line because I'm sitting here in lovely Glyndebourne in the beautiful sunshine, but there are a few places that I've experienced where the working conditions are as good. The workshops are absolutely second to none. You don't wear a costume at Glyndebourne, you wear clothes made to the specifications of whatever period your drama is set. And uh, everything from the workshops through the stage crew, the musical preparation, second to none. And you have time to concentrate on the piece seriously. So no, we're in, we're in heaven. Visually, it's absolutely stunning. We are set on a ship. We are in period costume. The music is overwhelmingly powerful, beautiful, and you've got perfect conditions here, creatively, to, to produce something stimulating. And I think we have, I think we're there.